the annual global energy picture, a closer look based on the data from the work of Wes Herman in 2006. In this video, we look at how much energy is available for use each year and how much humans actually use each year. We also look at what kinds of energy resources we're using. There is a great deal of concern about the scarcity of energy, particularly in developed countries. This figure represents the flow on an annual basis of usable energy. This quantity is actually called exergy, and it's a high-grade energy that can be used to do work, as opposed to something like a low-grade uh, heat energy. So let's first go through the key to see what these different symbols mean. On the bottom, you see that the different colors indicate the different types of energy resources. So this yellow-green color here is an indication of incident solar radiation. And it's shown on the figure here as coming from the top. So the solar radiation coming um, into uh, the atmosphere. This arrow and these different lines coming off the arrows indicate an exergy flux um, in terms of terawatts. And it's roughly to scale. So you could see that these much larger arrows indicate a, a much larger flux of energy compared to these smaller arrows. So let's go through the different colors. So as I said, this greenish yellow color is the incident solar radiation. This green color is chemical uh, energy. You could see that it involves the photosynthesis and plants, the carbon burial, coal, oil, gas, and uh, methane. These are the different stores of chemical energy. The orange indicates nuclear energy, as shown over here, uranium, lithium, and uh, the seawater types of radiation. The blue indicates a kinetic energy, and that's uh, shown up here where the incident solar energy creates wind and waves, and the wind energy is considered this uh, kinetic energy. The red indicates thermal energy. You have this geothermal down here from the energy in the mantle, and also the ocean thermal gradient energy here from the absorption of the incident solar radiation by the ocean. And the purple represents gravitational energy, which is essentially the different types of tidal energy caused by the celestial bodies. These figures here also represent sort of the natural energy destruction. That, that means something like, again, taking a high-grade energy like the incident solar radiation and converting it to something that is not usable, such as heat. So when the ocean absorbs that, there's a natural degradation of this high-quality incident solar radiation to the absorbed uh, thermal energy in the ocean. And that's what this figure right here represents, is this natural de degradation. These circles also represent a natural degradation of energy upon conversion to the usable form. And these arrows indicate the human use of the energy. So you can see here we have the different arrows uh, corresponding to different types of uh, fossil fuel consumption, annual fossil fuel consumption. And then here's one for nuclear fuel consumption. And here's the solar energy. Now, what are the important things to, to see in this picture? Well, the biggest message is that if you were to sum up the, the rate of energy use or the power that we are using each uh, in any given moment, uh, you can see that it's actually about 18 terawatts in the big picture. Um, what this means is that we have an incoming flux of energy that is about 5,000 times the size of our uh, power use. The amount of incoming energy that we have each second is far exceeds far and away the amount of energy that we are currently using. But we note that the form that we're currently using it is primarily from these 
these uh, chemical forms in the form of bio-derived fuels like wood and ethanol, and then all of these fossil fuels here comprise 65% of the current exergy use. So what we've seen is that exergy is a high-grade energy that can be harnessed and used. Each year, the Earth receives nearly 5,000 times the energy used by humans in the form of solar radiation. But about two-thirds of the annual global energy used is supplied through consumption of fossil fuels. And this has implications in our global system, and in the next video, we'll go over those implications. The biggest thing is that if you actually s summed up all the human use of energy, here's the solar energy here, um, the, the energy the use rate, you would find that there's roughly 18 terawatts of high-grade energy being used by humans each year, when in fact the influx of solar energy is nearly 5,000 times that size.